All right, so in this video, what we want to talk about is uh, simplifying fractions or reducing fractions is another way of stating it. So if we want to reduce, say, 24 over 48, first thing we have to know is how to enter a fraction into the calculator. And the easiest way to enter a fraction into the calculator is just press this fraction button first. You'll notice it says N over D. That's numerator over denominator. So I press that button and it gives me this blank fraction template. So you'll notice that the cursor starts off blinking in the numerator. So I enter in 24 and I press my down arrow to get into the denominator and then I enter 48. Now you'll notice that the cursor is still blinking in the denominator. We want to get out of the fraction completely before we do anything else. So notice that in there, it's got a little arrow that's pointing to the right. So we need to get out of there by pressing the right arrow. And now our cursor is off to the side. So if your calculator is set up just like it was when you pulled it out of the package, if I hit enter, it just reports 24 over 48 back to me but then it gives me a down arrow telling me that this can be reduced. If I want to reduce in this mode, then what I have to do is hit the simplify button. And every time I hit the simplify button, it will reduce by the smallest prime factor. So if I hit simplify and enter, it gives me 12 over 24. And it says fact equals 2. That's factor equals 2. So it reduced the numerator and the denominator of 24 over 48 by 2, and it gave me 12 over 24. But notice that there's still a down arrow. So we'd have to hit simplify again and hit enter. And it gives me 6 over 12, and it tells me that once again it simplified by a factor of 2. But there's still a down arrow, so I have to hit simplify and enter again, and it gives me 3 over 6 and it tells me once again it simplified by a factor of 2. Down arrow, so I have to hit simplify and enter again. And finally it tells me it reduced by a factor of 3 and my answer is 1 half. I know it's fully reduced because there's no down arrow. This mode is in the calculator is great if you're trying to really see how a fraction gets reduced. But if all we want to do is reduce a fraction, there's a far more efficient way of doing it. So if we hit our clear button to get rid of that, and I'm going to clear out my key press history right now too. If I go into mode, it's going to start off where it says degree and radi rad for radian, but we don't need to mess with that. We need to get all the way to the bottom. So I'm using my down arrow to get all the way to the bottom of my list. And right now it says man-simp. Now if I go up, you'll notice that man-simp right now is highlighted in black. And then there's auto-simp. Man-simp means manually simplify, and that's what we just did. We would like the calculator to automatically simplify, so we need to scroll down and then use our right arrow so that the cursor is blinking on auto-simp, and then hit enter. That will make it to where auto-simp is highlighted. Once we've done that, we hit our second button and then mode because we'd like to quit out of this and quit is written in gray above the mode button so second mode now if I enter in the same fraction 24 over 48 24 and then my fraction button and notice if I enter the numerator first and then hit the fraction button it automatically puts whatever I entered in as the numerator it's just a little quicker and then we put our 48 in and then we hit enter, or sorry, our right arrow, and then enter. And notice that it automatically simplified to one half and we didn't have to go through that whole process. And for Math 067, it's a lot quicker if we just automatically simplify our answers. So now let's see the second example. It's 54 over 72. And once again, you can either hit the fraction button, this N over D, automatically, or you can just type in your numerator first, and that's the way I like to do it. So 54, and then our fraction button, and then 72. Hit our right arrow to get out of that fraction, and then just hit enter. And it will automatically simplify that fraction. We didn't even have to touch the simplify button. So 54 over 72 is equivalent to 3 fourths. 
If we look at the next one, this is a fairly large fraction, which would be kind of a pain to reduce by hand, but the calculator makes it really quick. 108 fraction button, 162. Hit our right arrow to get out of that fraction, and then hit enter. And it tells us it's 2 thirds. So 108 over 62 is equivalent to 2 thirds. Now for our last example, it's really large. So let's see what happens when we type it in. 42,000 over and then 126,000. Use our fraction button to get out of there. And it tells us one third. So as you can see here, we had very, very large numerator and denominator, and it still made short work of the problem. I would suggest, however, if you want to make it a little quicker for yourself, rather than doing all this typing, that you just cancel out those common zeros. So really, this is the same as saying 42 over 126. Enter. And you'll notice that we still get one third.